Gemini, welcome to Alvin Manitaro. This is going to be a love reading for Gemini, for those who have Gemini placements. Um, time is fluid. Anytime that you press play is the time for you to receive these messages, all right? Cross watch, as, as always, you're welcome here. Keep in mind that energy is fluid, so the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary. Um, I'm going to be saying Alexander Tarot a lot throughout this reading because, again, um, a channel name that goes by the current name of um, Sun Moon Tarot 1111 has been still in audio for my readings and um, trying to edit it and use it as their own. And um, they haven't been on there, they have been removed since, but now they're using other tarot readers audios. If you look at the channel, they're not pulling any cards ever. The cards are just laid out with the camera on it. There's nobody reading at all. Listen very closely, guys. Be very careful about these scam channels. Everyone on here is not real, you know, legitimate and authentic. So be careful. Do not get scammed. These are another thing is these are he's there's this this person is taking old videos, all kinds of messages from all different dates. It could be from a year ago. And then people are listening and like, oh, that's my situation. And then they'll like a video. Don't get manipulated, guys. You see the cards? You see my cards here? You can see me shuffling them. You can see me pulling them. I'm going to hold them up to the camera. You can see all of that. All right? And I'm going to, again, I'm going to be throwing out my name throughout the video to make it harder for these scam channels that do so. All right? So show me the messages, please, for Gemini in love. What is Gemini's current situation in love? If the reading resonates, guys, um, and you're interested in a personal reading, you may click on the link in the description box below. AlexanderTarot.com. That's the link below. The website below. Okay. Also, be careful with these fake channels um, telling you to click on links or to, to pay for, I mean, to go into the extended and you click, you go down and there's no information. It's because they stole the audio. It's fake. Pay attention. All right. All right. So thank you for your support, guys, in, support, in reporting this channel and continuing to report channels such as this. All right. So um, let's see what Alexander has for you. Show me the messages that Alexander Tarot has. What is Gemini's current situation? Love. Okay. okay. According to Alexander Tarot, something happened in the connection that you're with with somebody. It was like traumatic. It was like the end of a relationship. There's a lot of heartache, a lot of pain. Um, it was like the, like the last straw or what it was is what I'm getting. That's what it felt like at the time. The Ten of Swords. See the card? I'm holding it up to the camera for you from Alexander Tarot. I'm holding the, cam the card. It's being crowned by the Empress Reverse. Somebody felt neglected by their person and taken for granted. And it, it resulted in some heartbreaking um, situation. But I do see recovery here with the Three of Swords in the Reverse. Okay, show me why the Six of Cups is here, please clarify. Okay, someone's like once a reunion here with the six of cups and with the um six of swords reverse but it's like they're not coming forward now the desire is to be to re reunite but they're slowly moving forward like it's slow healing okay you could be connecting with the gemini another gemini libra aquarius i feel like gemini your energy is very strong in this reading and libra is very strong okay um a lot of air energy thus far all right um according to alexander tarot Yep, look at that. This is somebody that you're not communicating with right now. The Hermit is here in the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody that wants to come forward, slow moving towards you. Moving slow, but reliable. Like they want to come in reliable after a devastating ending, okay? And with the, um, and by the way, guys, somebody could be seeing six, six, six could be somebody's um, date of birth, June 6th. Or I'm also getting like somebody born in the year 66. Take it as it resonates. That's not going to apply to everyone. But what I do here, see here with the nine of um, wands as per Alexander Tarot is that it's like you're trying to just like you're tired. Like I feel the energy of being tired or something, being put through a lot, dealing with a lot, taking on a lot, especially within this connection. And just wanting to give up altogether. Like, I'm tired. Like, this person did too much. And just life, life has just been, like, a lot on you. Just lifing, you know, adulting. And it's just someone who's just very fatigued. And Spirit is saying, just keep pushing through. 
okay? Be, continue to be resilient is what I'm getting, all right? Okay, so as for Alexander Tarot, yeah, just keep focusing on your circle, nurturing yourself and keeping yourself together financially. Um, again, I do see someone who wants to recover the connection with the Nine of Swords here in reverse. This is somebody that's very immature, I get, with the Page of Cups reverse. Very emotionally immature. Clarify this Page of Cups reverse for Alexander Tarot, please. Okay, this person, I'm telling you, they may have, I'm feeling some sort of trauma issues in their past, okay? And this is something that's going to be revealed with the moon reverse. This will be revealed to you. Pisces energy. Um, as for Alexander Tarot, this person wants to reveal that something traumatic took place. Um, or it just may come out that this happened. I'm not sure if they're going to speak to you or, it's, it, you know, this is something that's just going to come to the surface. But it will be revealed that this, this person suffered some traumas in their past. Could have been emotional abuse. It could have been um, physical, um, sexual even. All right. But this affects how this person moves in this connection. It's not an excuse, guys, as for Alexander Tarot, but it is an explanation as to why this person um, inhibited certain behaviors in this connection. Show me the breakdown here. Show me more for the breakdown. Spirit shows you what they want you to know. OK, the problem here with the King of Cups reverse is this person is like there's there is this emotional immaturity here based on the trauma that this person went through. There's, this person is someone that needs therapy, but is resistant to it, as for Alexander Tarot. And, you know, you, you tend to take this person back because of their nurturing ways. I mean, your nurturing ways, I'm sorry. You know, as the Queen of Cups, you're very loving, very nurturing. You love and care deeply. And it's almost like you, you're empathetic and you want to help this person heal. Because you know that there's something... There are things going on. You just wasn't completely aware. But this moon reverse is going to give you the clarity when it comes out, when it's revealed to you. Okay. Um, show me why this King of Cups reverse is here. Yeah, it's like in order for this person to be a better version of themselves, they need to be receptive to some sort of therapy and they're not. Because that's going to be their happiness. With the sun, it's like... There's happiness, there's transparency, but it's going to require some really deep healing. Show me want to clarify. Yeah. And I feel like this person is in his head about it. They're not receptive to it, but they're at a crossroads. They're trying to make a decision. Okay. With the two of swords here. The temperaments is here because it's like, should we clarify the temperaments, please? It's like because this person is resistant to the healing and making a move at this time, this person is quiet. It's like there is an opportunity to heal this, but it's slow healing again. Um, Sagittarius energy as for Alexander Tarot. Because right now with the full reverse, this person is not willing to take a leap of faith right now. But this is someone that does want to, you know, reciprocate. Look at the temperaments. I'm holding it up to the camera. This person wants to pour into your cup. It's like that's their desire, but they know that there's some healing that needs to be done, but they're resisting it. Somebody may be speaking to this person and giving them advice. Um, somebody that's very mature, but this person is responding in an immature way, in a resistant way. You can be connecting with an Aquarius, okay? Show me more for the breakdown here, please. This person comes off as somebody that's playing with your feelings, not really taking charge, just letting things happen, just going with the flow. There's no growth and expansion here with the three of swords reverse. And that's what causes the breakdown. But with justice here, again, there's an opportunity for you two to come together if this person is willing to heal and hold themselves accountable for their behavior. But again, the, the moon reverse is going to reveal this as per Alexander Tarot. Why is this king of wands reverse here? Hangman. Hey, yeah, this person definitely is just stuck and just in contemplating energy. What's their next move? How can I get Gemini to, you know, want me back after what I did, because there's a desire with the five pentacles reverse to recover from ghosting you. So I feel like this person did ghost you. There's a lot of fire energy here. This feels like a really passionate, fiery connection. But when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's terrible. You know, you could be connected with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. If I'm not calling your sign, guys, it is, and this is fluid to you as Pilots and the Tarot, just take this as it is your messages, okay? But there is a desire to recover from some, this. Somebody wants to recover that left you out in the cold. Okay. 
this person comes off very non-committal with the hair in reverse. But again, it's because they have commitment issues and it's connecting to something from their past. So that's why I get the energy of you thinking like, I don't understand, you know, as Pastor Zanna Tara, I don't understand why this person can't hold me down. Like, why is this, why I gotta be the one to take initiative? Why I gotta be the one to hold this together? Why I gotta be the one to bring this together? Why can't this person? It's because they're they're not in that energy. King of Wands reverse. They haven't been in that energy of leadership because they're not taking charge because they're actually resisting. But at the same time, this is somebody that's realizing they do want to recover you. They want to recover from the pain they cause you and the pain that they feel. With the Three of Swords reversed, I feel like this person went silent so that they can recover from their own pain or attempt to. But again, this person is trying to do this as for Alexander Taro without any therapy. And that's like the wrong move, okay? So show me this person's current feelings um, as for Alexander Taro for Gemini. What is this person's current feelings as for Alexander Taro for Gemini? This person sees you thriving. They see you as someone that's off on your own with this nine of pentacles on their own. Just, they may be spying on you as for social media. Some of you may have social media and this person is looking at your page and, and seeing that you're just on your own and you're just, you're keeping it together. You're keeping yourself together. Um, but again, this is somebody that's quiet with the high priestess. It's like this person wants to listen to their intuition when it comes to you. But at the same time, with the seven of pentacles reversed, they're not putting in the work. There's a desire. Desire is not putting in the work, right? So show me more as for Alexander Tarot, what's um, this person's feelings for Gemini as for Alexander Tarot. This person, not very non-committal energy, three of cups reversed. This person, you know, it may not necessarily just be another person. It could be situations. This person, like a lot of people say with third party that automatically, um, as well as in the tarot, um, a lot of people think that the third party is automatically another person. It could be any other thing that someone is, is dealing with that they're not, they're not prioritizing you above. Okay. But this person does see you as a queen of wands, like very desiring, very like, they're very attractive to you. You have a lot going on. You have the great personality. You value home and family life. They love all these qualities about you and they see that. But they're not, they're not moving forward now with the death card. This person, um, as for Alexander Tarot, is going through a transformation. They're trying to purge their own ways. They, it's like they want to change, but they're struggling because it's, it's like sometimes you just can't do it on your own. You need more. So again, this person is kind of resistance and that's what's stifling their growth and expansion right now. But with the death card, they are going through something. The, the universe stepped in as for Alexander Tarot to help this person get out of their own way to help them heal. You could be connecting with the Scorpio. Okay, why is the death card here? Yeah, because this person, you know, with the two of cups reverse, this person doesn't want to be broken up from you. They want to change. And they know that they feel like, damn, I, with the six of wands reverse, it's like they feel like they're resistant. Like they feel like I really, I took it too far. Gemini is not going to take me back. So that's why they have to go through this transformation to become a better version of themselves as per Alexander Tarot in order to, for them to be somebody that you're even willing to take back. All right, so show me the challenges. Oh, nope. Show me Gemini's feelings for this person. What is Gemini's feelings for this person as per Alexander Tarot? What is Gemini's feelings for this person? Um, yeah, you want this person to take action. You want this person to step their game up. You wanted to, the, your person to want to invest in this. But you also wanted somebody that you feel safe with. Look at this. I'm just holding up the emperor card to the camera. You want this person to be a leader. Somebody that you feel stable and safe and protected by. Aries energy. But that's requiring this person to do what they need to do to make things right. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here clarified for me, Falzander Tarot? You, you, want, you want to hear from this person. So don't try to deny it. Don't try to deny it. Don't be in here like, um, Kim, that's not true. It is true. You, you want this person to take action and come in and communicate. You don't want to go to this person. I get that very strongly. That, But you want this person to be somebody that's stable and willing to invest in this properly. Okay? It can also mean that you want somebody else to come in, take it as it resonates, and you want somebody else that's stable. I'll find out why. Please clarify this, Emperor. 
you have for somebody with the king of pentacles reverse you feel like this person is reckless and unstable um that you're with and even financially unstable and you're desiring somebody who's in control you could be connecting with the, with the um cancer yeah you look at that star you have, you are a lot of you are man are trying to manifest somebody new somebody stable somebody that knows what they want somebody that comes in with their shit together part of my french come in with their ish together because you know youtube is so weird okay and um somebody who's willing to invest and willing to communicate effectively and to be clear and not have you confused okay you may be um connecting with us with a aquarius or a cancer Show me more for Gemini's feelings, please, when it comes to the situation. Some of you, somebody might have reached out to you, and that's why you check in for somebody. This person is appearing to be stable, communicating effectively. Okay, this person knows, again, knows what they want. But for some of you, um, your person might have reached in, too, recently. And saying that they, you know, with the seven of... Swords, this is somebody that wants to come clean about something. And that's why I told you that with the moon in reverse, it's going to come out what's going on with this person, your person. As Battles and the Tarot, the truth is going to be revealed as to why they created this tower moment and destroyed this connection and why they can keep, 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 keep creating tower moments. You see the tower card at the... At the camera yes so you know as for alexander tarot this person is like feeling like they want to come in and this is good news this is a start you know page energy is small but it's communication and um so very specific message for some of you this person this new person reached out to you they might have dm'd you or you know somebody you might already know we'll, we'll dive deeper into that but you might have heard from somebody that's checking for you right and they got their stuff together but for most of you i do feel like it's this person trying to let you know just reaching out page of wands what is this message clarify this message that was to gemini recently look at that this might this person might have told you they're busy working right now just letting you know that you know they've been thinking about you but they just been focusing on you know getting themselves together for some of you, they may be even hinting that they're willing to work on this connection. Ace of Wands reverse, but not right now. This person's hesitant. So again, when I say hinting, this person might have said just enough to let you know that they're still interested. But there is something that they want to say to you and that they want your forgiveness about. Seven of Swords reverse. If it hasn't happened yet, guys, it's going to happen. This person is going to come forward. There's going to be some sort of message of this person. Again, they may go into talking about work first. As for Alexander Terrell, they may go into work. And then the conversation may turn over to something that they need to talk to you about. I feel like it comes in as some sort of breakthrough with the Page of Wands because it is coming in as good news. And again, this is good news because this is a curve in this connection where this person is wanting to heal. All right? So, um... When asked about your feelings, I'm getting that. This could be the as the Ace of Wands reverse could be your hesitance, you being hesitant. Like this person is saying they want to work on this connection and you're hesitant to do so. You're like, I don't know. Because you this person puts you through the windmill, right? So show me the challenges as per Alexander Tarot when it comes to this connection. Okay, I got I got the devil in the six of pentacles reverse. I'm put, I mean six of pentacles. I'm putting it up to the camera. The challenges here is for you to be able to to have what you want with this person, to feel like you're gonna be valued, to feel like this person is gonna reciprocate the same energy when all of you've been through is so many toxic episodes with this person. Yeah, you, know, you know, how can we how can I get the relationship that I desire? How can I feel like this person truly values me if they keep, you know, bringing me drama? Okay, so show me advice. What advice? As for Alexander Tarot, show me advice for Gemini. Okay, the advice that I have for you is the Ace of Cups reverse, um, the Ten of Wands, as for Alexander Tarot, and the Lovers reverse. There is a lot of times when um, I ask the cards for advice, they show me the situation first. And what they're showing me right now is that somebody's holding back their emotions. They're holding back an emotionally new beginning because they feel burdened. Ten of Wands. So they are detached. Lovers. Gemini energy. <laughs> right? That can also be your energy. You feel detached. And so you're holding back your emotions from this person because you feel like this person drains me. Again, it's too much. It's burdensome to be with this person. And this person takes you for granted. So you detached as well. 
okay so show me advice as by alexander tarot what advice do we have i told you this person is spying on you though with the page of swords but this person plays mind games too Ugh. um the advice here is this person is non-committal right now the ten of pentacles as you already know this person that's looking out for you but they are trying to release their issues for pentacles reverse they are again they're going through this spiritual transformation as per alexander tarot you could be connected with the taurus a virgo or a capricorn but they are working on themselves so the advice is to not take action okay don't take action right now um um as for Alexander Tarot, I know that you're feeling vulnerable right now. Kim understands that you're feeling vulnerable with the strength reverse, you know, um, and you're, you're thinking about this person, but you're not making a move. You love this person. But if you take action right now and you're the one that reaches out to this person, the world reverse is showing me that it's going to be, it's not going to be what you desire at this time. But do understand that this is not over. The world reverse also tells me, as for Alexander Tarot, that this connection is not over. Okay. But still hold back and allow this person to come to you. Don't act on your vulnerability. Because I feel like you're really vulnerable. You have a weakness when it comes to this person, Leo energy, and also your energy, Gemini. Um, there's some sort of weakness you have. Again, that's just your nurturing nature. Okay? As far as the tarot, that's who you are. You love and you care deeply. And now that, you know, knowing that this person has some issues in their upbringing, you may feel vulnerable and be like, maybe I should reach out. No. Hold back, do not take action. Let this person take action is the advice. And the reason why is because if you wait and you let this person do that, then you will get what you desire. With the king, with the knight of swords reversed, you reach out, this person is going to continue to be the same flighty person that's in and out, hurting you and, and not regarding your feelings and triggering you and leaving and coming back as for Alexander Tarot. But if you wait, Look at these two cards that I'm holding up to the camera. If you wait, you get your wish fulfillment. You get a new cycle with this person. You get the healed version of this person ultimately. If you wait. And when I say wait, um, as per Alexander Tarot, Gemini, we don't sit around waiting on nobody. This just means do not take action. Go on with your life. Take care of yourself. And allow this person to come to you in divine timing. We're not waiting, like sitting around. No, we're not shutting other suitors down for this person either. Okay, because just because this is an option doesn't mean that you can't find happiness with someone else. So as far as Anatero, before I close out this reading, I am going to ask spirit who who's coming towards you in love. Okay, who else is coming towards Gemini in love as far as Anatero, who's coming towards Wow, it's this person that that causes all this drama, the one you're conflicted about. It's not over. Eight of Cups reverse. This person is returning. This is the person that you feel like the situation is defeated. Six of Wands reverse. Again, strong Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. That's who's coming towards you in love. Show me more. Who's coming towards? Yeah. It's this person. They're holding back right now. But this person is like looking like at old messages, going through old messages, photos, you know, DMs, whatever they have. And they're thinking about you and they're like, I don't want to miss this opportunity, but they're trying to recover force was reverse. So the person that's coming towards you is this person. So just focus on yourself as for Alexander Tarot. Just just keep, you know, keep yourself healthy mentally and physically and emotionally healthy. Just work on yourself, work on your growth, work on your expansion. And when the timing is right, this person will be returning to you. Okay, again, do not reach out to this person. Um, and that's pretty much it. So before I close out this radio, I'm going to pull some Oracle messages. Okay. Show me the messages I need to see. I was drawn to this deck. Um, in the tarot. You hear me shuffling its cards and you can see them. You know, it's not a gimmick. You know, these fake tarot readers, they pretend they're shuffling cards and they're not because it's not their audio. Self-love, I am still trying to heal. Yeah, so you are. You're healing yourself, but this can also be a person. They're trying to heal from something from their past. I'm telling you. But I feel like you, you need to be in healing energy your well. This time apart is for you both can heal and be better versions of yourselves, especially this person, so that when the universe brings you two together, it works. 
missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. I told you your person feels like maybe they're taking too long, but they're trying to focus on being a better version of themselves. As per Alexander Tarot, they, they want to be better, understanding. I see your side of the story. Yeah. They they, they may not be telling you this because you're not communicating now, as per Alexander Tarot, but they are understanding more about how you feel, about how they've treated you. This honesty by lying, I ripped us apart, yes? So I feel, um, as for Alexander Terrell, this person wasn't always honest. They wasn't honest about their behavior. They were projecting onto you. They were gaslighting you into thinking that something was wrong with you. And instead of just being straight up about the, to the core about what's really bothering them, what's really affecting them, and why they're not able to give you at this time what you desire, um, neglected, I failed to give you what you need. I just said that. I just said this person failed to give you what you need. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, and it fell out, hope, I haven't given up on us yet. All right, so this person is loving you from a distance and trying to heal so they can come back as a better version of themselves. As per Alexander Tarot, do not wait on this person. Continue to go on. What's meant for you will not miss you. Okay, so those are the messages that I have for you for Alexander Tarot. If this reading resonated, be sure to tap that like button. It lets me know you want to see more of these messages and it helps me to get these messages to as many of you as possible. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And as for Alexander Tarot, I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.